are, amen, hallelujah, led by the Spirit, that we are led by the Spirit, that we are led by the ways of God, that we are led by the ways of God. Teach us your ways, O God, Jesus, amen, hallelujah. Let us ask God, let us pray that God would release discernment on each one of us, that God would release discernment on each one of us, amen, that none would be deceived by the strategy of the enemy, but you will be, amen, vigilant, amen, as the enemy goes around like a roaring lion, amen, hallelujah, we will be vigilant, we will be alert, we will be on our guard, we will be, amen, hallelujah, in the, in the armor of God, that, amen, hallelujah, that, that the helmet of salvation, the the breastplate plate of righteousness that we will have the sword of the spirit the sword of the word of god every day with us that we will be able to slay amen every arrow every giant every enemy that walks towards us amen come on church begin to pray and ask the lord for the spirit of discernment for the gift of discernment for the anointing of discern to discern and to move forward Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Amen. Give us discernment in our lives. Give us discernment in our lives. Lord Father, when we hear a word, Lord Jesus, give us discernment. When we see a report, give us discernment. When we hear negative things, give us discernment, Lord, to identify and to rebuke in the power of your name, to rebuke in the blood of Jesus. That, amen, hallelujah, the weapons formed against us shall not prosper against us, O God. That the enemy will not plant weeds where the word has been sown that the enemy will not plant weeds where the word has been sown that the enemy will not cause the word to be unfruitful anymore but lord jesus that amen hallelujah that we will be able to bear a hundredfold of the word that god has spoken to us that god has put in our hearts that god has put in our spirit amen can we ask the lord amen Come on church, lift your voice, amen, hallelujah, for too long the enemy deceives us, amen, hallelujah, for too long we are deceived by ourselves, our actions, our thoughts, amen, hallelujah, by the words of other people, amen, hallelujah, but can we be bold and confident in our God, amen, can we come out of this fasting season as a confident church, as a, amen, body of Christ, that is strong and pure, that shuts every door of leakage, that shuts every door of leakage, amen, that shuts every door, back door, that the enemy comes in through, amen, hallelujah, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, can we declare the promises of God on our lives, on our families, Yes, I want you to set aside every need that you have. Amen. Today is not the day that we will focus on the needs. The needs are there, but amen, don't be distracted by the needs. Can you pursue God? Amen. Above your needs. Can you pursue God above your desires? Can you pursue God above your wants? Can you pursue God above your healings? Can you pursue God above your amen, job requirements? Can you pursue God above your financial breakthroughs? Can you pursue God above, amen, hallelujah, anything else? Can you love Jesus tonight? Can you love Jesus tonight? Can you love Jesus and pour out your praise in this place? Can you pour out your praise in this place? Can you pour out your praise and worship and adoration in this place? Yes, Lord, we pour out our praise. 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 You don't have to wait for your neighbor to start worshiping. Amen. Hallelujah. It's between you and your God. Can you contend with the Lord? Can you pursue to amen? I'll be carried in the spirit to the throne room of God. Can you be content to be carried into the heavenly realms? Can you contend and pursue God to rise up? Amen. Hallelujah. In the spirit realm. Yes, Lord, Father God, Jesus, amen, break every yoke that is on our backs, Lord God, Jesus, amen, every stiff neck on our backs oh God Jesus we broke you know God Lord Jesus every stiffness in our thoughts every stiffness in our actions every stiffness in our words 
Can we rise up, church? Amen. Can we rise up and worship the Lord? Lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Let worship arise. Let sweet incense arise. Let pure worship arise. Let a genuine heart pour out worship in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Let it reach the heavens tonight. Amen. Let it reach the heavens. Yes, Lord, we lift your name. We lift your name, God. We lift your name, Jesus. We lift your name, God. Hallelujah. Can somebody worship the Lord? Can somebody lift up the name of Jesus? Can somebody lift to exalt the name of Jesus? Can somebody 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 exalt the name of Jesus? For you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord, God. Lord Jesus, in our sin, even when we can't see it, even when we can't feel it, Lord, you are there. Jesus, we lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your throne, Jesus. We lift your name. We lift your throne, our Savior.
enter to your throne room, Daddy God. We enter your throne room, Daddy God. We bow down, we bow down, we lay all our crowns at your feet. You are the Alpha and Omega, you are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, you are the worthy of your all. You are 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 worthy of your all. Oh, that is who you are. 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 That is who you are.
Thank you, Jesus. As we are in the presence of God, you really believe that has lost its victory over you. Death or destruction, sickness or pain, or loss or any barrenness, unfruitfulness has no power, no control over you. As you praise the powerful name of Jesus, don't forget this fact: devil has no claim on you. How many of you believe this? Devil has no claim on you. Satanic kingdom has no claim over your life. Those who believe, those who are understanding, just stand on the promise that you death. You sickness, you spirit of death, you loss, you destruction. You have nothing on me, nothing on me. I am found in Christ. I am in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Glory to God. My hope is in God. I mean, shall we sing it again from the bottom of your heart and declare that you enemy, you lost the battle. No weapon formed against me shall prosper from this moment. I cancel it. I remove it. I uproot it. I dismantle it, and I destroy your claim. I command you leave me and go right now. I expel you from my body. I expel you from my mind, my will, and my emotion. You have no claim over me. Hallelujah! Declare it in the presence of God. You fight it out in your mind battle. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, you declare that. I mean, you cannot bring any more loss. Not even a minute. Not even a second. You lost it, enemy. You lost it. I mean, my Jesus, take victory over it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Just lift it up. Just lift the name of Jesus. Just lift the name of Jesus. You just lift it up. Declare it. You death. I mean, you death. Anything. Which has an effect of death. I mean, any organ, anything. Hallelujah! Something is happening. Hallelujah! Maybe you have a hair fall. I mean, maybe your hair is falling. That is death. I mean, that hair cannot fall just like that. Whatever normal, you accept it, and you command. You have to leave right now. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot. You spirit of death. You cannot. I mean, stay in my body. I am a child of God, washed by the blood of Jesus. You speak it out. You speak it out as you come praying and fasting and seeking God. I mean, death cannot stay in your body anymore. Any of the organ, whatever is not functioning, I mean, you command to function in the name of Jesus, my faith. Rusha matatu barala reva mama. Hallelujah! If your work is not happening properly, if your business is not happening properly, Hallelujah! If your, I mean, workplace is not giving you the peace, you speak. You Spirit of death, you cannot bring damage to me anymore. Hallelujah! I am receiving the health of God. I am receiving the Hallelujah, the, the the blessing of God in my workplace in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, I want to set me free. Hallelujah! Has lost its grip on me. You have won. Yes, I worship in Your name, Jesus Christ, my living Lord. In Hallelujah, praise the One who set me free. Hallelujah, 
ourselves in the presence of the most holy God. The same presence that before your crucifixion, your people, your children didn't have access to. The same presence that came down on the mountain to meet with Moses, the same presence that came down in the tent. Lord, for touching us, oh God, for speaking to us. Continue to lead us and bless us, oh God. Cover us in your precious name. Help us to go back with a new understanding, a fresh touch. Help us to unlock more of you tonight, oh God, more of your ways tonight. Teach us, continue to teach us your ways, oh Father. That we might be a pleasing altar. That we might be a pleasing sacrifice. That we would not be called stiff-necked people, but we would be called uh, people after your heart. Lord Jesus, that we would be called true worshippers. Lord, we do not want to belong to the group that came in the last days and said that and you did not know them. Lord, even though they prophesied in your name, even though they prayed, and even though they worshipped, Lord, help us to be close to your heart, close to your heart, oh God, Jesus. Lead us and guide us, Lord, by your spirit. Once again, we submit us and everything into your mighty hands. Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's take your offerings and pray. Sister Saima will come forward and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Kadus, 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 Rabbi Yuba Khudas, Lamti ke Shazade, Bacho ke Bacha, Tera Shukar, Tari Tarif, Kurte and Babas Mani, Tere Nam, Ko Izotor Jalal, Dete and Khudavanda, Tuhi Izotor Tazim, Ke Laika Pere Babas Mani, Ebab, Tera Shukar Kurte, Swak Kile Khudavanda, Jotune Hamis, Like Samjakam, Tere Hazur, Me Hazino Kadus, Yuba Khuda, Ebab, Jitni Jane Hapur Mojuda, Ek Ek Pertera Gehra Masa Mark, Tere Khudavanda, تو اپنا فضل اپنا کرم اپنا رحم کر قدوس یوا خدا جلال سے بھرے خداوندہ تیرا شکر کرتے خداوندہ جو پرستش کی گئے خداوندہ تیرے حضور بخور کی مانین پہنچے قدوس یوا خدا اے جلال سے بھرے خداوندہ اس جگہ کے لیے تیرا شکر کرتے خداوندہ جو تُو نے مہیا کیا کہ تیرے نام کے لیے کٹھے ہوتے ہیں تیرے نام کو عزت اور جلال دیتے ہیں خداوندہ اس جگہ پر تیرا گہرا مسا مانگتے خداوندہ جو بھی یہاں پر آئے قدوس یوا خدا خالی ہاتھ نہ جائے بلکہ جسمانی روحانی برکتوں کو لے کر جائے قدوس یوا خدا اے باپ اس وقت تیرے حضور میں آتی ہوں جو تیرے بیٹے اور بیٹیا خداوندہ حدیہ نظرانہ لے کر آئے ہیں تیرے دیئے میں سے قدوس یوا خدا اے باپ تیرا شکر کرتے ہیں خداوندہ تو نے قدوس یوا خدا ہمیں روزگار مہیا کی ہے تو ہمیں انکم دیتا ہے پیارے باپ اسمانی اے قدوس یوا خدا تو اسے دعا مانگی تو برکت دے قدوس یوا خدا جہاں کہیں بھی استعمال ہو تیرے جلال کے لئے استعمال ہو قدوس یوا خدا اور دعا مانگتے ہیں خدا اندر جو لوگ جوب ڈھونڈ رہے ہیں تیرا شکر کرتے ہیں تیرے حضور میں جو دعا کی ان کے لئے دروازے کھلے ہیں قدوس یوا خدا اور یہ تیرے نام کی گواہی دیں گے قدوس یوا خدا اے باپ اسمانی تو اپنا فضل اپنا کرم اپنا رحم کر قدوس یوا خدا اے باپ تیرا شکر کرتی ہے سب کچھ مانگتی تیرے پیارے پیٹے ہیں
praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah god is so good let's uh, keep learning how to go more close to god as you are building yourself upon the anointing and the influence of the holy spirit it is important to protect what you have today every day you must be receiving the anointing but at the same time you have to safeguard what you got you cannot just empty it sometime you might have heard people pray we have come with an empty like an empty vessel fill us next week also they will pray the same thing so where you already got filled last week and that the week when they come there's a time come with the empty maybe it is a stylish prayer but in its real sense you cannot come with a emptiness in the presence of god when you come with that fullness because the lord said always come in front of him with the fullness never come with an empty hand so you have to give an offering the lord says when you come come with always with an offering i'm not talking about money don't don't misunderstand oh i i am always putting an offering that is not what thing in the other side you come with an expectant heart you come with the assurance of the anointing you come with the fullness of the word believing and declaring because in the first century church you will always see that they were having lot of trouble all around trouble but they were with full of the joy they never got depressed negative answers negative problems rules laws everything is changing persecution is increasing but they never lost the joy of the lord so every time when we come into the presence of god you have to you have to be with the fullness of the joy of the spirit of assurance various things never entertain the the influence of the enemy never accept what he pumps into your heart or your mind when you hear a no you must say a yes in jesus name when you feel that you are weak that time you need to speak to yourself i am stronger in christ jesus that's how we replace all this emptiness but if we believe just coming into the presence of god i will just get filled up and then go and come again with emptiness no don't allow what god has given in your life you cannot give this pearls into the in front of the pigs you cannot just lose it amen I mean, it's very important how to keep the anointing is is another session another uh, another principle which you have to 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 understand we can be filled with the holy spirit but to keep it is your responsibility you can have the deliverance on various areas but to have that deliverance on or keep it secure it is your choice it is your perseverance it is your hallelujah what is that it's your effort no i will not let the enemy steal my joy no i will not allow that even when you hear a bad news you will not allow that to rule your mind At the same time for few seconds of course 
because you heard it but we have to overcome those negatives that is not the final whatever whoever say anything that is not the final the final is the lord that is that will make you joyful when we have that kind of a uh, that kind of an understanding that will take you upward today let's let's learn about let's prepare ourselves and also we'll have a time of worship after some time okay prepare that the anointing what you how many of you received the touch of the lord yesterday you have no hands or only mouth yeah. still only purely so none of you were touched by the lord or okay so they all were tied with their hands the devil said don't move your hand you just take keep quiet praise god those even you only felt the presence even you felt the lord was yes such a such a wonderful presence of god i was in the presence but i did not get anything that is your understanding even that understanding should not be lost by anything else even you felt the power of god was just coming down and you felt it that you should not be losing if you lose it then there is no meaning so from there you need to build yourself from there because the lord will start filling you from the position yes position where you began that experience so here ecclesias is chapter 10 verse 1 ecclesias chapter 10 verse 1 says dead flies putrefy the perfumer's ointment ecclesias chapter 10 verse 1 dead flies putrefy the perfumer's ointment and cause to give of a fall order that anointing oil the anointing oil represents the full effect of the anointing the power the efficiency everything it it speaks about and that oil is made by the 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 man who makes or he makes with lot of lot of techniques lot of efforts lot of attention and even in that when they are stored if a fly goes inside and it dies inside then that perfume that oil will not be used it is defiled that's why in the old testament anything false like the the unclean flies or beast or any kind of creeping things or crawling things if it is false if it falls on a holy thing it defiles so when the fly goes inside and dies the fly you need to understand this kind of influences it brings lot of noises around it goes inside and it defiles the anointing so you cannot entertain anything counter or anything contrary to what you have received sometimes you entertain doubt i don't think i just felt only maybe something else i was thinking like that you are defiling the anointing you are defiling what you have been deposited by god so you will not be able to make further of it so without question without challenge when the word of god is coming you know now today is the eighth day all this seven days you have been given lot of truth 
from the very beginning of the prayer till the end of the prayer in various segments the word of god the power of god the power of the anointing has been pumped in this place that's what i will i will say it has been filled in here and it has been deposited in this place those words in the the the, the bible says that in deuteronomy chapter 33 33 verse 2 says deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 2 says and he said the lord came from sinai and don't on them from seir he shone forth from mount paran and he came in 10000s of saints from his right hand came a fiery law for them the word was completely covered with a fire a fiery law a fiery word that is the word you have received all these days even now also the word when you when you hear it the word when you receive it and the word when you hear it you need to keep this in mind it is a fiery law it's fire it consumes the darkness it destroys it sanctifies so that is what we are hearing every day now while we do this when you entertain all other understanding then you make a fall order only because the anointing will not work in your life when you pray the prayer will not have much power so from this day really what we need to do is we need to safeguard the anointing we need to safeguard what you heard till today don't just put all your all your normal natural ways of thinking you must think a step ahead and think about this is the word of god i am believing it who can stand against me we'll just say romans chapter 8 verse 30 says if god is for us hey who can be against us if the word of god the fiery law is for me and i am accepting it who can be against me nothing i will move forward in this anointing that is that is what you need to believe and start walking in those principles maybe all of a sudden when you put it you may not find so quick in moving forward but you have to do it there is no other method there is no other method in the spiritual realm there's only one method application of the word of god there is no option one option two option three only one option apply that word into your life so that this law which or the word which is full of fire it sanctifies certain areas it consumes certain areas and it will make you pass through untouched by the enemy these influences of from external from from the outside world i mean will not go deep into the treasure where it is stored when it comes it is with but it depends upon how you take the word and put it when negative thoughts come discouragements come and when suppose you 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 were expecting that this is going to happen and nothing happened don't worry about it because we trust in the word we don't trust in anything else we are believing that this is what god told me and this will only happen that is what you need to believe and bring out all those or expel those discouragements and stand for it now this pressure the anointing is the treasure the anointing the effect the power the essence it is the treasure what you are carrying nothing else your earthly treasure your your bank balance your wealth that is not the treasure that treasure comes and goes that never stays but the treasure the holy spirit the anointing and influence of him if you keep it as a treasure that will produce more of confidence and more of assurance within you that he will never 
let me go even when trouble comes i mean you will be able to float above the trouble now let's read second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 says that but we have this treasure in earth and vessel yesterday i was speaking about genesis chapter 1 hallelujah what it was genesis chapter 1 i spoke about god was speaking about the earth chapter 1 verse 2 the earth was formless and it was not in shape but the holy spirit was hovering now the holy spirit the treasure hallelujah he his his main thing is to i mean form and shape us so that we will have an effective christian life meaning it is not a name that we will walk in the principles of the kingdom of god i mean we will walk hallelujah in obedience to the this fiery word which god has given in our in our life so here now we have this treasure in earthen vessels this earthen vessel is i mean the lord will always shape always it will be shaped up whatever not needed i mean the lord will chop it off now when we come across with the trouble we are not focusing most of the time we don't focus upon our mistakes our corrections we will only complain about why god did not do this why god allowed this why it is happening to me that is the mistake what we make we every most of the days most of the the weeks we keep on speaking about my god is not doing it it is basically you have been brought for corrections and we are not getting corrected we are just in the in the in the mindset that oh, god is going to do it god is going to do it you know that is what we always think god will do it but we 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 don't put ourselves into the shaping process we speak in tongues we understand we are touched by the holy spirit i'm doing it but sometime what really happens when this fly comes inside of us we say that i am not going to pray why i should pray you know how long i will pray you have cancelled you have cancelled what god has brought inside he he caught you for shaping but you say that i am not interested in shaping i am interested in walking in the way in which i want to go how long i will wait time is running out so god is not doing anything if god is not doing anything if you understand then who will do it that is the counter question you must ask if god is not doing who will do it we don't ask that question still we have some hope outside thinking that that way this way it will work if something has to happen god has to say if permission has to come god has to say healing has to come god has to say you have to get a job god has to decide if you want promotion god has to decide i mean anything what you want god has to decide that assurance we must have you cannot just say that i am so sad about it i am so upset about it you know i don't know why god is playing with me like this that all we'll say sometime out of frustration we speak hey god is not your playing toy he he doesn't want to play with you he wants to mold you up that is why he gives the influence and anoint influence and power of the holy spirit in your life to understand what god expects expects you to do so he what he does is he keeps the treasure the anointing the holy spirit in your life we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of god not of us if god is not doing you know god is not doing but you will ask god is not doing so what are you going to do you cannot do anything 
you are only just creating more trouble more 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 pressure more uh, what is that more of negative thoughts just to dwelling on negative thoughts really cancels anything what you have built up to that moment so we need to come into a understanding if anything has to happen god has to do it i am not the one there is nothing in me for that purpose god has given me the anointing and the anointing of the holy spirit is working on my life so i will speak this word faithfully when you don't speak the word of god faithfully believing even when you speak you might have some hope on something else those things you should shut it off and say that no i trust in my god my god will do it you may be i am not saying that you don't trust in or put your hope in anything but your hope should be in the working of the lord because the lord has put this treasure the anointing even a small level of anointing if you have you felt it and you prayed for something and you felt that you felt an answer from god you felt a touch of god you felt something was happening in your spiritual realm that's enough from there you need to develop it and hold on to that so what really happens when we the lord has kept this treasure in us so that verse 8 says we are hard press on every side you have been given lot of pressure and stress from the enemy side he has come several time i mean leaping in your ears that flies they will come to touch your anointing to destroy your anointing to destroy your faith god knows that the moment you ask for a breakthrough this flies will be just coming in because you have an anointing they will come to fight with you when king david was anointed as the king of israel the philistines came gathering together to catch him and what he did he never gave them a chance he went into the strongholds he went inside in deep prayer in deep seeking god there god spoke to him but when we are hard pressed down every side what we will do we don't take a decision to sit and pray we don't take a decision i i want to restore what i lost i cannot allow the enemy to take what my god has given my faith i cannot allow him to make it low my peace what god gave me i cannot allow him to take it back because my god knows me he set me apart he has filled me with his anointing i'm not talking about speaking in tongues that is a sign of your overflowing anointing but i am talking about the control and influence of the holy spirit i mean when you very often if you keep negative you keep, you, you you start speaking negative that means you are canceling your anointing when you are in the anointing now all of us knows of here I mean, you are all everybody was coming for all these days and still will be coming but i want you to understand this whatever you have received whatever the truth you got i mean it should not be cancelled at any point of time that test will come flies will come i mean informations will come i mean certain hallelujah bad decisions by somebody can come in front of you but that's the time you will stand untouched by him you are lid will be closed so that the fly will not go you will close all those areas of negativity with strong faith and say that no i am not going to entertain so here we are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed you might be pressed by the enemy to the maximum limit but when the anointing is there when the power of the holy spirit of god is within you don't just think oh i am not that much anointed that's why i'm telling you again even whatever the level you have 
what ever your understanding you have to respect and revere that that yes i have the holy spirit the lord is with me i am moving from glory to glory i am moving from grace to grace hallelujah maybe now when you think about some others when you compare yourself with somebody else so that they have lot of great anointing i don't have that never think anything like that it is the same holy spirit there is no different holy spirit it is the same holy spirit who gives them and who gives you he is the one to work upon this he is the one to build you up so here we have this great sorry we are hard pressed on every side verse 8 and yet not crushed we are perplexed sometimes you are really confused don't just think that because you are anointed you will not be confused or perplexed but what really happens immediately when you put your shoe into that position of the influence of the holy spirit the word of god says that but not in despair now think about how long you go into a despair condition you're desperate sometimes you say that i am so desperate not even complete that word desperation thus i'm desperate if you are a child of god and you start speaking about upset and desperation you are canceling the anointing in your life hello you're looking like i am a your faces are so furious or serious i'm teaching you the ways how to stand victorious even in the midst of you hearing a no i'm not just preaching this is our life i've learned it my wife we have learned it this is our life i'm telling you if you keep on saying i'm just carry no be be very sensitive if you think you have an ending if you think you have an ending that is treasure you cannot allow that treasure to be defiled or with the fall order this fall order is our words of desperation our words of perplexity our words of confusion our words of discouragement when everybody was trying to in first samuel chapter 30 everybody was trying to stone david because they all lost their wives their children their property in siklag their houses were all burned up everybody thought that this fellow is the one who brought us into this loss we should not have gone to the to the other other side to fight against these rockets but what david did what david did what david did you are reading the bible he encouraged himself in the lord and he asked he put be brought to him and he encouraged the lord shall i pursue this people everyone's hope was lost but one man a one man army one man army the anointing will make you a one man army you don't need thousand people to clap for you you don't need thousand advisers to advise you do this do this do this if you think you have the anointing in certain time when you are stressed and pressed down hard pressed perplexed persecuted that time you will this anointing will make you to stand and say that i will see god nobody nobody stoned him 
nobody stoned him they all took stones but no one stoned him why if they have decided they have to do it but none of them did it this is a place where we lose our confidence when you are perplexed and heart pressed and in despair oh so that everything is gone now what i will do no stay there that time you may think about the final thing that oh i think everything is going to finish no it will not because this anointing what is inside of you is only for you you don't wait for everybody's approval you just decide this is what my god said the other day i was speaking to brother joy there was a time where i could not eat anything my stomach was completely with ulcer because of over fasting i never fasted for me that time i was fasting for the people for for the for people to get out of their addictions their problem family issues lot of trouble i used to cry and cry and pray I was married to my wife but still I was praying and seeking God finally I could not eat anything my stomach was completely paining I could not even walk I just it came like only rice and curd a little and it's not I have to cook a lot of medicines but nothing happening almost three months it was just like that finally it came to a place where I could not even do my daily things I told the Lord If I die, I die. But you will lose. I will gain. I will fast for three days. All hope is gone. Nothing. I told the Lord, if I die, you will lose. If you keep me here, I can serve your people. But you may not take this kind of decisions, daring decisions. But now, I am going to fast for three days, no eating. A man is full of problem in the stomach. I have taken such kind of decisions. First day, second day, everything came normal. Almost third day, completely whole, healed. The anointing is not for fear. Anointing is not for to see that, oh, I am untouched by the enemy. No. you have to learn this you have to learn if you think about you have anointing and again i'm saying it doesn't mean that you have a higher anointing and lower anointing it is the same holy spirit he will increase or he will bring the effect of the, the power of the anointing how that person use his time in the presence of god if you are able to spend more time after some time you will see how the power of the holy spirit is influencing and moving towards samson he was he was what he was he was been i mean he was been trained by the holy spirit i mean he he was grown in the power of the holy spirit that's why he was so powerful he was spending time in the presence of god the more you spend the more you will become confident to stand and do great work for the for the for the lord now let's see this persecuted but not forsaken let anybody persecute you you will always see god will never forsake you let people trouble you god will see that you are untouched by anything struck down but not destroyed see the people who had anointing apostles and the disciples they all had the anointing in different various levels but they gone through all this sort of experiences but none of them were down none of them, none of them were discouraged none of them said i don't think everything that i have come to the end no because of this treasure hallelujah glory to god and then then verse 10 verse 10 says 
always carrying about in the body the dying of the lord that the life of jesus christ may manifest now this treasure the anointing sometime it is a it's a wrong concept in the christian church in the pentecostal church it says that it is for speaking in tongues it is for the 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 gifts of the holy spirit this correct that is not the primary thing the primary thing is now we'll be praying after this the primary thing is the life of christ to manifest in your life if you focus on speaking in tongues or prophecy or gifts of the holy spirit you will only have that but this night we will be having all this even we'll be praying for the gifts of the holy spirit in another few more days after you all come prepared for that that is not the primary thing the primary thing is the death of jesus christ which brought life in us should manifest in us should produce that 100% life meaning it should produce that faith to conquer the enemy it should produce this anointing of the holy spirit should produce faith to challenge when it comes hard pressed that faith should rise within because the holy spirit is the one who who gives you that courage and boldness to stand looking at a 10 foot man how a small lad the 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 shepherd boy how he can go with that confidence and they say that i am coming in the name of the lord we can say all this but when you see when you meet these challenges the enemy suppose you you prayed for something and you waited for some days and when nothing is happening or you hear a, hear a different news or different i mean report i mean then you say that no oh, what is this you you are not you are not producing the life of christ you may be crying you may be weeping you may be praying maybe fasting praying that all fine but in the end the anointing should produce life of jesus christ it should manifest in us that whatever the challenges come my god will let me not go from his hand my god will fight for me I have that confidence I have that anointing my god will never let me go he will not give me in the hand of the wild animal that is what you need to believe for that purpose only the anointing we needed for that purpose only we need to go more close to god when that comes you will you will experience the righteousness of life that means jesus took all the death Jesus took all our failures our weaknesses our whatever we, we were not competent in anything else the lord has taken over that the lord has removed all our failures our weakness our sickness our curses everything was taken over by 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 the death of christ nothing exist upon a believer upon a child of god who has or who became the temple of the holy spirit we are not empty temples people of god believers you need to understand you are not an empty temple you are a temple filled with the power of the holy spirit and the holy spirit resides within you how we can just accept that oh i prayed and god did not answer and the the enemy is powerful no that's our main mistake we most of the time we focus on gifts we focus on speaking in tongues we focus on visions we focus on i mean prophetic revelations that is not what you need to focus that all will come in its own faces first day he never killed the goliath the first day he killed a lion the second day i mean he did not kill the goliath the second day or the second season he killed a bear and the third day only he killed the goliath the level changes from one 
season to another but in between the seasons how you spend your time in between the season flies will come it will defile your mind various things will appear upon us one problem after another problem will come but it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything if you are able to come to that understanding that no let anything come i have no problem i know my god will never let me go from his hand and he took over with that it never ended it never ended when he was in his kingship never entered the problems never entered even in his last days he killed so many people there were battles after battles and he was ready to go to the battle but that people said hey now no you are the light of israel if you are with us that's enough let me tell you in your household if one person can stand filled with the holy spirit that's enough for you but if all of you if, if suppose you are four people if four of them are talking about negative four of them are explaining more about negative not about the holy spirit then you are gone your house is gone your house is destroyed you cannot build yourself even the church i mean if everybody is hopeless the church is useless the church should be hope filled the church should be hallelujah at least somebody should stand and say that nothing if someone come with a problem someone should speak from your mouth that brother no problem our god is able to do it not only the pastor will speak i mean the elders the deacons the uh, the intercessors i mean all the ministers hallelujah we have almost about 56 ministers in this church hallelujah let me tell you everybody should speak about it that yes brother there is no problem we have a god who can answer by fire because we have a god who has given us the word of god as fire in our hand that is what did it everyone should get encouraged and you will see the enemy flees hallelujah no sickness is harder or, or or stronger to stand in front of the anointing no trouble will stand in front of the anointing of the holy spirit nobody ever Hallelujah no house problem no domestic problem no family problem no nothing nothing will ever stand hallelujah only it will stand when you say that yes it is because you are misusing the anointing you are not caring the anointing because this is a treasure hallelujah glory to god see hallelujah glory to god i mean the righteousness of life we must entertain because you already got that one in your life you are not going to get it you already got it i mean it is like you know you already have this or maybe on your lap here somewhere and you are going searching where i will get it. it is already there with you you are not even knowing you got it because the lord has reversed everything he brought us into a new order i mean the old is gone and the new has come if the old death is gone the new life has come that is what the lord said hallelujah you look at it i mean first kings chapter 19 verse 20 first kings chapter 19 verse 20 says hallelujah what happened i mean elijah went near to elisha elijah went near to elisha elisha was not knowing that such a mighty call is going to happen upon him most of the time now you are seated here but you may not be knowing for what purpose god has brought you this night this eighth day you may be thinking that it's only to you know we have a fasting prayer every year we have this time you know only we have 14 days you may be thinking that but this 14 days is set by god that you, you need to understand there is a definite purpose and plan so elisha was not doing he was just in a, like a normal man plowing the ground hallelujah but i mean elijah went and put his mantle on him and then he said then immediately he said i want to go back, go to my house and tell everybody and come then he said see what i have done for you that word clicked in his heart he came back 
he came back. First King chapter 19 verse 20. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Please let me. Elijah is not waiting. Suppose if, if I am going to put my mantle on her, I will wait. Plead her, please. Joanna, you have to come. Jelena, you have to come. Oh, Chris, when bless when you please come. Help the church. We need more people. There is nothing. Elijah, that is, is, is a man of our kind. But we are not that of that kind. Because we are just focused on many other things. But what he did is, he put his mantle on him and he just woke up. He is not waiting. Let me tell you, when the call of God comes, when the purpose of God comes and it speaks to your heart, I mean, don't just think that He will plead with you. He will ch- talk to you further. He will give you more, more chance. No. That is the, that is the character or that is the behavior of the Holy Spirit. That's why I said, if you just got a little feeling of the Holy Spirit, you just got an understanding there is a difference. It is not like normal. I never felt anything like this. I never got that heat wave going over me. I never got that cool breeze touching me while I, I felt the other side is different. I never felt such a power coming from top to bottom. I never felt that kind of an utterance. I never felt so weak. I never felt such a joy in my heart. Hey, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Mr. Holy Spirit was with you yesterday. He was just walking with you. He wants you to follow him. I mean, but Elisha, what he did, he understood what he is he's about to do. And he said, hey, come on, I want to go. He said, I mean, see what I have done in your life. And he said to him, go back again for what I have done to you. Elisha, he never went back. He stayed with that. He stayed with that. You will never see. You will never see from there. I mean, that Elisha prayed 10 hours, 15 hours, 24 hours. No. What he did is, he followed him. He followed Elijah to various places. He was only walking with Elijah. You must be walking with the Holy Spirit. I mean, if you walk with the Holy Spirit, keeping the treasure so tight with you, don't let the world to steal that. Don't let the care of the world to, I mean, touch you, the negative words, nothing, let anything come. I mean, the people of negativity, they were speaking in four instances. Hey, you don't you know that he's going up now? Your master is going to go away from your head. I mean, you know that? He said, hey, shut up. You know, I know what I am going to do. I am not entertaining. I mean, if you are pe- when you are in a bad situation in the sense, when you are in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the season of, I mean, hearing negative or, I mean, you are going to go through hard pressed the situation or perplexed the situation. I mean, you will hear all the negatives and say that, yes, you are right, you are right. You are right, you are right. We will say that, yes, absolutely, I agree with you. This, this is what we do. But try learning to speak in the opposite way. You don't just say you are right. You must say you are wrong. I am serving a God, my Lord. He will never let downfall happen in my life. He will lift me up. Even I am fall six times seventh time I will get up. How many of you will be able to say like that? That is what. When in your office somebody says that this is going to happen, you don't believe that. I mean, you just put your trust in God and start talking to God. If something is not happening, don't just complain about it. You believe. So here, I mean, you need to walk with the Holy Spirit. As you walk, things will change. Several discouragement came. Several bad news came. But Elisha said no. He kept on walking. How you will be able to keep on walking with the Holy Spirit? Shutting your ears for the negative news. You need to keep your, your ears shut for the negative news. So that you will not entertain hopelessness. And he went. The last question he asked. What shall I do? 
the holy spirit will always speak to you what you want you may not understand most of the time because we are thoughtful of other things but he was not thinking about it he was he just said i only want one thing i want more of the power of the holy spirit i want more of the influence of the holy spirit so that i even if they press me down i will be able to get up even i hear negative news i can just come up even the doctor says no it is impossible yeah, you can say that no i will rise and i will praise god i will not die but i will give glory to i will live long and give glory to the name of jesus christ oh if this is not happening don't worry my god has another plan and i know that he has good plans only he have no bad plans so today as you are in the presence of god it is important you take care about the treasure what you are holding don't let the negative to rule over your life you just hallelujah allow the holy spirit of god to i mean move in your life and take you for i want you to close your eyes hallelujah tonight as you are in the presence of god how many of you will ask the lord lord i just want to walk with you i know what you have done in my life last night till last night till this today and lord i know i know i know what you are doing i felt i mean your presence your compassion your voice i heard i seen i mean dreams and visions i mean i know i mean what is your plan hallelujah glory to god i know i mean i have done i have i have said many i mean negative words i have decided upon various things i have given up on i mean certain things that it may not work but you are a god who is able to give life to the dead you are a god hallelujah who is able to lift me up from the from the from the dungeon to the palace you are that god i mean you can open doors i mean no others can open it when you open nobody can shut it i mean you are my health you are my healing you are the healer you are the deliverer you are the one who anoints me i mean you are the one who bring transformation in my body in my organs i mean in my health in my strength in my in my veins in my arteries in my kidney in my eyes hallelujah in my brain i mean in my any area my liver my heart i mean my lungs i mean my nose my eyes you name anything wherever you have a problem you have a joint problem kidney stone or any kind of a god bladder stone or any kind of a stone you have i mean speak to god that god i mean you are more than i mean holy spirit you are the one who is able to i mean lead me through i trust you god i got the first touch i know that i mean there is another touch coming in my life but until that comes i will walk with you like elisha i mean you walked with the with the with the, with the, with the light of father hallelujah in the name of jesus i know there's a day coming i will come across with a challenge i mean of the hallelujah goliath you will see you will clearly you will see you will show me i mean my i shall be open up to see where the enemy hides i mean where i need to hit with the stone which i am having i know god my power is not enough i know you are given me i mean such kind of a pressure the excellency of that power is not mine when i put when i throw that stone to the enemy i mean the excellency of the power of the holy spirit which is residing in me will crush the enemy oh god how many of you last for that renewal of that holy spirit such a beautiful hallelujah such a beautiful experience is happening hallelujah from the from heaven hallelujah such a river is flowing into the midst how many of you will hallelujah go dive into it and say that that is what we need that's what we need hallelujah hallelujah glory to god i mean talk to god about it i mean speak about it start praising and worshiping i mean hallelujah i mean start praising and lifting the name of jesus i mean hallelujah starts you up praising hallelujah glory to god when the power of the holy spirit comes i mean take it to hallelujah speaking in 
tongues operating the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I mean, you start talking about it. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because this pressure is a must. I mean, where you will, hallelujah. I mean, you will not go down at all. Your faith level will not go down. Your faith will produce life. Hallelujah, you will be a witness, a manifestation of the life of Jesus Christ in the midst of others who are dead, who are dead flies. I mean, who are the one who brings all negative into your life. You will leave them and you will stand for miracles. You will stand for great breakthroughs. I mean, if your business is down, you will stand up and declare every day that my God is going to bless me abundantly in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh God, we praise you. God, we praise you. How many of you will stand in the presence of God to receive such kind of an anointing in your life? Hallelujah, we praise you. I mean, keep praising and singing and praises to God. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus. I will let heaven open upon your children, O oh God. Pour that great anointing upon your people. Let the anointing build them up. I mean, those who joined in this life, I mean, let your home be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, wherever you are, wherever, whichever place, maybe you are at workplace, maybe you are right now at home, maybe you are in the car or some other place and you are listening, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit fill your home, be filled right now. Let that power, that pressure be stored in your body in the name of Jesus, in your mind, will emotion, let everything come, hallelujah, under the control of the Holy Spirit of God from now. Thank you, Jesus.
Oh, we praise you, God. Lord, we praise you. Ah. Oh, God, we praise you. Lift your hands to heaven. Ask the Lord to touch you as you are lifting your hands to heaven. Lord, I pray that the, the power of the Holy Spirit, more than the electrifying power, touch your people this atmosphere as they are lifting it up, God. And let the holy presence of you touch them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeshu. Yes, Daddy. Touch them. Yes. shall be very visible in their life that personal assurance be there touch them those who are waiting for healings receive receive by faith in the name of Jesus all the challenges you receive the answer by faith by faith let the power of the Holy Spirit Lift you up. You allow that. But you walk with the Lord. Keep walking. Never be perplexed and depressed. Trust the Lord. Let no fall order come out of your mouth. You are not a dead temple. You are not a temple without life. You are a temple with the life, life of the Lord Jesus. The power of the Holy Spirit of God. The fire of the word is in you. You are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. You accept it. You are in one, arm, one army, one man army you are. You are enough. You can chase a thousand. You can chase 10,000. You are more than a conqueror whose the God strengthens you. Don't give up. As we keep thanking and praising, that I should will come forward and close the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time of fasting and prayer that you have given each and every one of us to gather here, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for touching each and every one of us this day, O oh Lord, Father God, for filling us with this anointing that you have given us, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, God, help us to guard our mind, guard our spirit, guard our mouth, O oh Lord, Father God, to, speak, to not speak things to speak negative things and lose the anointing, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, give us the wisdom to do the right thing, O oh Lord, Father God. Give us the wisdom, O oh Lord, Father God, in using this anointing, O oh Lord, Father God, to fulfill the calling that you have given each and every one of us, O oh Lord, whether it be in ministry, whether it be in any area for to be a family man, in any area, O oh Lord, Father God, the calling that you have specifically given to each one of us, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, Lead us and guide us, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, help. 
prepare us, O Lord, Father God, in the coming days, O Lord, Father God, to be able to receive the fullness of the anointing, O Lord, Father God, to be ready, O Lord, Father God, and to do the things that you have called each and every one of us to do, O Lord, Father God. Bless us, O Lord, Father God. Protect each and every one, O Lord, Father God. Lord, bless those who are gathered here, O God, O Lord. And bless those who are watching online, O Lord, Father God. Give them the ability to join together, O Lord, to be under the same roof, O Lord, Father God, to worship you together, O Lord, Father God, to honor your name, O God. Lord, we thank you, O Lord, Father God. We thank you, O Lord, for the word you have given, O Lord, through our pastor, O Lord, Father God. Bless him, bless her family, O Lord, bless the various ministries that are doing your will here, O Lord, Father God. Lord, strengthen them, O Lord, Father God. Give them the abilities that they need to do these things, O Lord, Father God. Bless in each and every one, O God. We ask in Jesus' name. receive the benediction may the grace of jesus christ love of the father and sweet communion of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen 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 god bless you all